we kind of fill in the gaps where the uh, professionals are overwhelmed and they uh, can't get there and they're busy doing something else. And we, what we do is uh, we fill in there and then we, we do a lot of just general volunteer uh, work uh, like parking. Uh, we helped the sheriff last weekend with the, uh, you know, evidence search and stuff like that. It's uh, where the, the county just doesn't have the funds to put uh, people to do things they need to get done. CERT has been a huge benefit in the county in that they volunteered last year in 2006, I believe it was 5,000 hours. If you take that uh, man hour input and divide that by 2080, it comes up to about 2.4 employees per year. Calculate that out for a financial impact, it's about $100,000 savings the county has, has uh, acquired through the implementation of the CERT program and through their volunteer efforts in assisting our public safety agency. And it didn't take me too long to realize what the value of this program could be to give me manpower for certain things that need to be done in various aspects of law enforcement. One major incident will stretch you and before you can get any of that mutual aid coming in from outlying areas people you're going to rely on and that lives are going to depend on are going to be your CERT folks. I learned about the CERT group through our emergency management office. Um, they were uh, instrumental in getting it formed and that's the community emergency response team. Um, very uh, important uh, community volunteers and the training that they have is very good. CERT started nationally in the aftermath of the Northridge, California earthquakes in the 1970s. The Community Emergency Response Team has served a vital role in helping local police and other emergency service agencies in providing additional manpower to assist as needed. The Butler County CERT was formed four years ago and has received increased funding since 9-11. It was the government's belief that local assistance in times of emergency is better than can be provided by federal officials. In Butler County, the role of CERT has expanded as their training and can-do attitude has increased. This Butler County is a better place to live because of Butler County CERT. It's a broad base of our, our citizens that are volunteering their time and effort and going through the training that's necessary to get them certified to be CERT members. They volunteer a lot of their time just in training on the weekends uh, to be able to be CERT members. CERT volunteers have abundant training opportunities available to them, which gives them the skills necessary to handle any emergency situation that may arise. These folks have really uh, taken that on to get as much of that training uh, we'll have people that take vacation for a week to go to training. Um, that's phenomenal. They're constantly training on everything. They are great help in, in search and rescue. They're, they're trained, they have the equipment. It was in the um, unfortunate case of a missing person and turned into a homicide investigation. In the course of that investigation, we had three different days of volunteers and we had over 20, almost 30 volunteers that went out and actually canvassed and, and, and uh, uh, walked through fields and, and checked roadways and under underpasses and ditches uh, for evidence. Uh, and, and to give you some taste of the scope of that, we, our, our crime scene was literally stretched 53 miles. It, uh, it couldn't have been done by any one agency. We have uh, required them to take a 20-hour course. Uh, we do a fire suppression. We do first aid, basic first aid. We do search and rescue. And then we have continuing education. And uh, we do uh, that periodically through the year. I know they get emergency response training setting up command centers, um, weather-related calls, flood-related calls, if there were to be a tornado in El Dorado or Butler County um, or the surrounding area, they would respond to that, and, and they're trained to do that. I think they do have some rescue training, both uh, automobile accident, um, drowning at the lake, and things like that. CERT will give you the tools and the education you need, not only in just everyday life, but how to handle disastrous situations you might find yourself in, but also teaches you how to help your neighbors, how to teach them the tools and things that they need to know. I know as, an, as a manager of, a, of an emergency organization, 
uh, there's such a value to not having to train someone on the scene to know that uh, you just tell them, well, this is our parameters, you folks take care of that, and, and it, it gets done. And I think that's, uh, that's a huge force multiplier for us. What attracts people to CERT? I think it's the variety and the camaraderie that uh, they see. Uh, whenever, whenever we do a class now, basically the, the CERT members uh, are the ones teaching it. They're the ones putting it on. We've turned that over to them. While we, uh, we maintain that instructor cadre uh, through emergency services, uh, a lot of the other instruction is being done by the folks who have been there, done that, and um, I think that's attractive to others. They see that uh, I can do it too. They definitely got me out of the box, you know, out of my comfort zone, and my life is not dull anymore, that's for sure. One who has a servant attitude, so to speak, uh, one who's willing to do whatever they can do to help. I think 9-11 brought that out in everyone. We, we all want to do our part to help America. And, and they found out that the average person um, can help do that. Some of their members work at the state park. Some of them have office jobs. Some of them work for the county or the state and just have everyday jobs. But they have that willingness uh, to contribute to society by helping where they can. And we greatly appreciate that. When we looked for a small child in Tawanda, we were called out on a Sunday. And it was really rewarding when we all, when we got there and we found the child. And it was, go to bed at night going, that's why I joined CERT. One of the young ladies was a nursing student here from the community college. Um, some others are uh, retired. Um, they do, uh, they really promote that community volunteerism, which is a good thing. Having local people involved in, in uh, any venture uh, creates more ownership and more, um, uh, more of a local flavor to, to an organization, uh, especially a group like this that helps emergency uh, personnel. They, they all enjoy what they do. And I don't think it's a chore to them. I, I think it's more a, a fun thing for them. They're all smiling when I see them. They, they don't act like you, you put them out by asking them to help. They act, act like, oh boy, we get to help again, you know. We always have fun. We're always doing, we're together, we joke. Uh, we know when to take things seriously and when to lighten up and, and have fun. Like we helped with the uh, college and the basketball during the ball games. And we'd have um, tailgate parties, so we are always doing something fun. We, we even get donations from their employers to, to buy them things. One guy was showing me another uh, GPS uh, that he had yesterday that, that his employer said, hey, you guys can probably use this. I don't ever use it here. Uh, so, you know, it's those kind of things that, that really just make you feel good. Whatever it takes, those folks have been more than willing to do. And they're, I just can't say enough good things about this group.